King Ethelbald of Wessex or Ethelbald, Old English, Ethelbald, was the second of the five sons of King Ethelwulf of Wessex and Osper. He was king of Wessex from 858 to 860. He witnessed his father's charters as a king's son in the 840s, and in 850 he received the rank of the Aldorman. In 855 he became regent of Wessex while his father, Ethelwulf, visited Rome, his elder brother Ethelstan having died in 851 or shortly after. His younger brother Ethelbrough became king of Ghent. Ethelwulf returned a year later, having taken as his second wife, the Carolingian King Charles the Bald's thirteen-year-old daughter Judith. According to Alfred the Great's biographer, Esser, during Ethelwulf's absence there may have been a plot hatched to prevent the king's return either by Ethelbald, or by Ealston, Bishop of Sherborne and Dean Wolf. E. Aldorman of Somerset, or by all three. It is probable that Ethelbald was involved in such a plot because of his father's marriage to Judith. The marriage to a Frankish princess who had her own royal lineage could have produced heirs more throne worthy than Ethelbald. To avoid a civil war, Ethelwulf allowed Ethelbald to continue to rule Wessex itself, or the western part of Wessex while he took Kent and the other eastern parts of the kingdom. Anne William states the start of Ethelbald's reign to 855, regarding father and son as joint kings from Ethelwulf's return from Rome in 856 until his death in 858. The absence of any coins in Ethelbald's name during this period suggests the coinage continued to be in Ethelwulf's name until his death. Ethelbald then became the king of Wessex, while Ethelbert again became king of Ghent. Judith's charisma as a Carolingian princess was so great that rather than lose the prestige of the connection Ethelbald then married her, in spite of strong clerical opposition, as marriage to a widowed stepmother was considered incestuous. Little is known of his reign and only one charter survives, witnessed by King Ethelbald, King Ethelbert and Judith suggesting that he was on good terms with his brother. Ethelbald died at Sherborne in Dorset on 20 December 860. Esser, who was hostile to Ethelbald both because of his revolt against his father and because of his uncanonical marriage, described him as iniquitous and grasping, and his reign as two and a half lawless years.